Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's your boy Rylan, and you're joined here at the Fat Crypto Channel. I do coin overviews, technical analysis, basically trying to be your one-stop shop for crypto. Uh, if you want to check, check out some of my other videos, please do. You can um, uh, just click on Fat Crypto and then go on and view some of my other videos. I've done coin overviews on Avalanche, Elrond, then loads of technical analysis as well uh, on various different coins. I'd like to point out that I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. Uh, everything I say is, uh, anything I say here is not financial advice. Um, it's just information that I've collated together using sources like Investopedia and the uh, Cardano website. Um, so please, please use those. I'll, I'll put links in the description below for you to uh, take a look yourself, uh, make an educated decision as to whether or not you want to invest in Cardano. And that leads uh, on to what this video is about. Will Cardano change the world? Now, Cardano has been a um, on an absolute run recently. I mean, it's been consolidating for the last month or so. But before then, it was going absolutely crazy. And a lot of people have made a lot of gains from ADA. So what I'm going to go over is give a quick overview of the coin. Um, uh, a quick overview of the project itself, what it's trying to achieve, the technology behind it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So what is Cardano? Cardano is a blockchain founded by Charles Hoskinson. You may already know Charles Hoskinson as the co-founder of Ethereum. The aim when setting out this project was to, and I quote, provide a more balanced and sustainable ecosystem. Cardano states that it is the only cryptocurrency which incorporates scientific philosophy and a research-driven approach. Recognized scientists and programmers rigorously review the open source blockchain to ensure optimal performance. Cardano is setting out to bring reliable and secure financial services to those people who currently do not have access to it. So how does Cardano work? Cardano identifies itself as the first third generation cryptocurrency. This statement correlates with their aim to tackle the issues with scalability, interoperability and sustainability both Bitcoin and Ethereum currently face. So I'll quickly move my camera there so that you could see the text. But let's talk about scalability. How is it trying to improve scalability? So let's look at how Cardano sets to tackle scalability. The fundamental issue they are looking to solve is the detrimental effect congestion has on the blockchain. This causes slower networks and higher transaction fees. We all know how long transactions can take and how much they can cost as well on the Ethereum. Cardano harnesses its very own consensus algorithm known as Ouroboros. I, excuse me if I pronounced that wrong. I, I'm guessing it's pronounced Ouroboros, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, Ouroboros makes use of the pro proof of stake consensus mechanism. This in essence boasts much faster transaction processing and is a lot more environmentally friendly when compared to its big bad older brother, the proof of work consensus mechanism. Now this is the consensus mechanism Bitcoin and Ethereum run on. This is very drawback, uh, this is many drawbacks in itself, such as getting very heavily congested, meaning slower transaction times, uh, also he uh, high transaction fees, um, threat of 51% attack. I've got more information. I've talked about this in more detail in some of my other coin overviews if you'd like to check it out or if you'd like me to just um, cover what proof of work and how proof of stake is as a whole, what is as a whole, please do let me know in the comment section below. Cardano's blockchain appoints validators who are responsible for verifying and validating transactions from a collection of nodes. These are effectively like representatives who carry out this procedure. The leader node then pushes out transactions to the main network. This is largely different to Bitcoin's model, which possesses a copy of individual blockchains on each node. Cardano also adopted the recursive inter-networked architecture to scale the network. This is known as RENA um, in short. This network enables customized increments to heterogeneous networks. Now, how is Cardano tackling interoperability? Interoperability is something a lot of blockchains are set out to tackle. Performing cross-chain transactions is not currently simple and many cryptocurrencies are set out to combat this. On top of this, 
transitioning from cryptocurrency to fiat in the global financial ecosystem is far from seamless. Cardano has set out to enable cross-chain transfers by harnessing sidechains. These sidechains allow for transactions to be conducted between two parties off-chain. Cardano is also dipping its toes into tackling and enabling the use of cryptocurrency for trading and daily transactions. I'm going to go into this in a little bit detail in a sec, but they are really trying to change the world, having um, basically trying to bring finance to uh, areas and developing countries where people don't have a, a stable financial system and they can't, you know, build wealth and spend that wealth. Cardano is really setting out to, to solve this problem. Finally, I want to touch upon how they're trying to improve sustainability. The proof of stake consensus mechanism is already far less power cons uh, consuming when compared to its proof of work uh, counterpart. They are set out to create a self-sustaining economic model for the currency through governance structures, which incentivize stakeholders to stake and secure the network. They are also lined up to build the constitution of protocols which aim to avoid messy hard forks. So let's get into the tokenomics of ADA. Now, the price is at $1.23 at the time of making this video. The market cap is at 39 billion 426 million. The circulating supply is at 32 billion. The total supply is at 45 billion. So how is the ADA token used? ADA is the native token of Cardano. ADA is a digital currency providing users the ability to use ADA as a secure exchange of value, irrespective of where they are located and without requiring a third party to mediate the exchange. This will allow people in the developing countries to build their own financial wealth because they don't need to uh, uh, go through a bank or they, they can have people, family members or whatever, maybe send um, uh, ADA to them wherever they're situated and be able to build wealth, use that wealth to build more wealth and actually uh, provide wealth for not them just themselves, but their families. So Cardano is really setting out to change the world and develop the entire world and target these developing countries um, to bring them up. All transactions are permanently, securely and transparently recorded on the Cardano blockchain. ADA holders possess a stake in the Cardano network and they are able to delegate to a stake pool to receive rewards. By doing so, they help in securing and successfully running the network. So just to go over the roadmap, uh, so we've had the Byron, the Shelly and uh, Shelly mainnet and now we're moving towards the Gogan uh, mainnet launch and Gogan will effectively allow uh, uh, developers to build decentralized applications upon the Cardano mainnet. Now, um, the obviously right now Cardano, there's no decentralized applications. They had uh, they have the ability to build tokens upon it. But as, as it stands right now, there's no applications running on Cardano with the Gogan uh, uh, mainnet launch. Um, uh, developers will now be able to build their applications on the Cardano mainnet. Then we have the Basho, um, which is set out to improve scaling, right? So they've already established um, all the, the fundamentals by this point. Now this is basically improving the performance, right? It's uh, helping optimize what they've already created. So finally, we have the Voltaire, which is effectively the final piece of the Cardano puzzle. They say this is vital uh, in becoming a self-sustaining system. They will introduce voting and a treasury system where network participants will be able to use their stake and voting rights to influence the future developments of the network. So fantastic stuff planned in the months ahead. Obviously, there's Cardano like to do this thing where they... They don't really put dates on when they're releasing things. They just go, oh, yeah, it's coming out. Oh, yeah. Or, oh, yeah, we're listed on Coinbase. So um, we have rough time frames, but we don't know exactly. This this is all going to start rolling out very, very soon. So stay tuned. And finally, let's get into the technical analysis of Cardano. Now, I've got this on the four hour chart right now. And as you can see from it hit its uh, all time high of $1.48.
on the 27th of February, we saw um, downwards price since then. Uh, you know, this this seems to be a common thing that happens. Uh, buy the test net, sell the main net. Um, but you can sort of see it's like kind of traded between the, in this bull pennant um, until the 16th of March when the news about Coinbase listing came out and we had a huge pump in price. So as you can see, it was trading in this bull pennant, uh, bouncing off the upper resistance line. And we have the support here. Also finding resistance uh, support, sorry, at the 0 0.382 um, before breaking further down. And then this coincided with the news of Coinbase listing and we saw this huge pump uh, retesting those all time highs, which we got a heavy price rejection from again. And it seems like we're trading within this symmetrical triangle, which as you can see is nearing points of breakout. So obviously I'm not saying this is an investment you should you should put your money in this. I'm just saying I, I personally love Cardano. I think it's a great project. Um, it's the, the project itself is amazing. The team is amazing. What they set out to achieve is really, really quite um, uh, inspirational. Um, but like I say, do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. And then I also noticed, so this symmetrical triangle sort of forms with this uh, trend line, which it seems to, every time it bounces on this trend line, it seems to get a nice upward motion. So you can see bounce and then up, again, up, up. Um, this, this trend line seems to be a very, very strong support. And we can see we're bouncing. We might just break through here. Uh, we're in a resistance box right now. We can see we're getting resistance at this level from the 0 0.5 fib level at $1.23 to about $1.27. Um, so we might see something like this before we break out. Um, but obviously we could have a fake out and drop into my little buy zone here, which is at $1.14 to 1.17, aligning with the 0 0.382 fib level. The reason I've got a buy zone here is as you can see, if we look at previous uh, uh, how the candles have acted when dropping into this zone, um, especially right now, it seems to really have found support along this region. And we're mainly seeing wicks when it hits these prices. And if we take it further back, we can see it's acted as resistance on numerous occasions as well. Therefore, we can uh, assume this will be a very strong support. If it does break down below, I've got a tremendous buy zone from 0 0.098 um, to 1.06. Now I'm not saying it will hit these prices. I'm just saying if it does, this could be a pretty good buying opportunity since as you can see, we're mainly seeing wicks. It doesn't stay in this region for long. We've got heavy support within this region and this region was also a heavy resistance prior. Therefore, the stronger the resistance, the stronger the support. Now my main areas of resistance are, well, we're in one right now which is the 1.23 to the 1.27. As you can see, we have found heavy resistance in this area um, and therefore we can expect some more. Uh, my next level of resistance is from 1.34 to 1.37 dollars. And yet again, resistance, resistance. So I'm expecting to see some resistance here and the top aligns with the 0 0.786 Fib level. Finally, we have the previous all time high, which obviously will be a strong resistance. We can see we've had strong, strong price rejections twice. Um, and this is between the $1.44 mark to the $1.48 mark. Uh, when we look at the RSI, it's not, neither oversold nor overbought. It's right in the middle. It's looking quite nice. If we look on the daily, it's very nicely corrected because this was very, very overstretched um, and it's looking quite, quite nicely corrected. One thing I did also notice um, on, on the daily is we're currently finding support on the 10 and 20 day simple moving averages. And as you can see, the 50 day moving average is also coming up as well. And this could also act as well. It's acted as a strong support here. And if we take it further back, it has been acting as a strong support again. So the fact that the 50 day moving average is coming close to where the current price action is, is a very good sign. And we can see when it does touch this 50 day moving averages, this does seem to be quite an explosive uh, movement. So we can expect 
this to happen again. But obviously I'm not a financial advisor, it could go to zero. Um, so that's effectively just been a quick overview of a uh, coin overview of Cardano, what it's doing, what the project is, a little bit about the technology, um, the roadmap and the technical analysis. I hope you really enjoyed that video and um, stay tuned for some more. Please do like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, if you didn't like it, dislike it, let me know how I can improve because um, I am new to content creation. But yeah, it's been your boy Rylan and I'll see you tomorrow.